The third most important food component, which we have done, we have done carbohydrate. Okay. The second important, which is required for the growth of human beings, is what? Proteins. Protein. So now we are going to do the protein, protein test. test. And uh, so the aim of our experiment would be to test the presence of proteins in the given food sample. Food sample, we have taken egg white, and that is, of course, a material required. Along with that, for this experiment, we need nitric acid, ammonium hydroxide. These are the other two chemicals which are required. Then, of course, your test tubes, test tube stand, dropper, and the microwave for heating. Okay. This is the food sample. Uh, which part of the egg is rich in protein? Yellow part or white part? White. White part. So naturally, we have taken here white part, but in this solution, some little bit of yellow has also come. Now, we will just test this for the presence of protein. So again, here also, we have to take around 1 ml of the sample, approximately. Can you name other sources of protein also? Rich sources of protein. From milk. Other than milk, milk is actually a complete food in itself. Ma'am, dals, pulses. Pulses. So in your labs, you can do the experiment even with the help of pulses, where the pulse have to be first made into a paste. Okay? And then we use its solution as the food sample. Now, after adding the sample, food sample, we add nitric acid. Now nitric acid is, say, you have to handle it with care. You could see the fumes coming up. Okay. So just carefully pour in around 1 ml. If you want, you can use the dropper also. Same quantity of nitric acid. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, why the yellow part of the egg is discarded? Yellow part of the egg is rich in carbohydrate. And here, since we are testing it for the presence of protein, so we need to discard the yellow part. Otherwise, it will interfere with the test. And now, this needs to be heated. Now, I think, Tanya, you can heat it. Okay, now, here after heating, you can see that yellow precipitate has been okay. yellow precipitate has been formed. Below, you can see the solution, and here is the yellow precipitate. Now, we have to rinse this. That means we have to remove all the liquid from this and rinse it to prevent, to remove the extra nitrogen which is present in it. And we'll do that here. If the test tube is hot, you can use the test tube holder. And while draining it, be careful not to drop the precipitate also. Actually here, the protein has coagulated. So we can see the yellow precipitate here. After rinsing the solution, um, a few drops of ammonium hydroxide has to be added to this solution. Change in color into orange precipitate will confirm the presence of protein. This, is, this color confirms the presence of protein. Now, any questions? Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, is there any another name for egg white? Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, it is known as albumin. Albumin. You are right. A L B U M I N. Ma'am. Now. And why do we need to rinse the sample three times? It's not necessary three times. Still, you have removed almost all the excess of nit nitric acid. If you are sure nitric acid has been removed, then you can uh, stop it and put this ammonium hydroxide on it. 
Here in this, you have to be very careful because ammonium hydroxide releases fumes, so it is preferable that we switch on our exhaust during that time so that we don't inhale these fumes. Second precaution, I told you about the nitric acid. And while heating, also you have to be careful. And another precaution was while rinsing it. You should see to it that the precipitate does not fall down. Then your whole thing is gone, the sample is gone. Excuse me, ma'am. If we had taken them boiled egg, then what would have been the result? In boiled egg, actually, whenever we boil something, a chemical reaction takes place in the food stuff, and there is some change. So we may have not got the uh, result as good as we have got it now. Finished.